Hi and welcome to Divine Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we're back for another video in our beginner series. This time we're actually going to make this cute set of uh, coasters for our coffee table. They're quick, they're simple, and as I said in the last video, you will make a ton of these as gifts for your friends. Tie a little nice little ribbon around them and you're done. All right, so let's get started. going to need for our little super simple coasters today these are a great gift they're great to use up scraps as you can see I've just got a little piece of fabric here and I can cut them I usually cut them between four and a half inches to five inches depending on the piece of fabric I've got so these are totally washable you can just put them into the washing machine they'll be fine they won't um, come apart or anything like that so my um, coasters today are cut at four and a half inches because that's what I could get a set of four of out of the piece of fabric I have left this is what I've got left so we'll set that aside and you're also going to need some double-sided fusible um, foam and that is excuse me cut at um, four and a half inches as well you're also going to need a rotary cutter, some thread snips, possibly a tailor's awl, some matching thread, a working sewing machine, an iron and an ironing pad, and some quilting rulers for measuring. Now, these are super quick. They go together really quick. You can um, These make great gifts uh, for, for any occasion, really. Um, and as I said, I like to use up my um, scrap fabric, and that way I've got a heap of coasters, and they're all through the house. All right, so I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way and then we're going to get started. I have already pre-cut all my fabric. So the first thing after you've cut, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your iron and your ironing pad. You're going to bring those over, grab a piece of foam and two pieces of your fabric measuring four and a half inches. Everything here measures four and a half inches. Then we are going to place our little piece of fabric onto our foam and with a warm setting on our iron, we are just going to quickly press that in place. It doesn't take long for it to uh, fuse to it and it won't stick to your ironing pad, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, it is double-sided uh, fusible. You can use the sew-in one if you want to. Um, if you do use the sew-in one, you will need to do a cross um, to, so they, they can go into the um, washing machine. You will want to do a cross just to quilt it into place. Add our next piece on and there we go that's it it's done. Now I have non-directional fabric so it doesn't matter which way I put that on if you have directional fabric please be aware that you will need to make sure that you match them up okay. All right so they're going in the right direction and we're just going to repeat that with our remaining pieces Okay, so now you can set your iron and your ironing pad aside and we're heading over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around, back stitching at the beginning at the end. So I'm just going to move the camera a bit and get a, so you can get a closer look at what I'm doing. I've got my quarter inch foot on here and all we're going to do is we're just going to, starting at the beginning, 
we're going to place that under our foot and we're going to be using our quarter inch seam allowance and we're going to put the needle in the down position and we are just going to stitch all the way around and we're going to repeat that for all four now you would have noticed I didn't back stitch then that's because I'll do it at the end now when we get to the um, end of our first coaster we're going to stop about a quarter inch away from this edge then we're going to lift our presser foot up we're going to spin that around and I'm not quite there yet there we go I'm going to spin that around and I'm going to stitch to the next end again stopping a quarter inch away from the end lift our presser foot up and then stitch and turn now if you find that your foam is a little bit out of the side just follow the edge of the fabric and then once we come up to our, where we started we are going to go over by one stitch over the thread that is already there and then we're going to back stitch and then go off take the needle out of the down position grab our thread snips and get rid of those excess threads and as you can see there we have stitched that down the next step is and I forgot to mention at the beginning is to grab our pinking shears okay now you're going to repeat that with all of them okay so I'm just going to quickly do that so once you've done that and you've sewn all four you're going to grab your pinking shears I forgot to mention them at the beginning um, they are necessary for this and so now what we're going to do is we are just going to trim all the way around making sure that we do not cut into the stitching that we've just done Now as this is fusible I don't have to worry about putting that cross through the center okay so that is one of our coasters already done any scraggly threads get rid of those okay and you're going to repeat that for all four
and there we go quick simple effective and to serve their purpose now as i said where if you are using the sew in um foam you will need to actually put a cross through the center you can also use batting um in these but i prefer to use the foam because it doesn't um in the the pinking part it's it's quick and easy to to um go through and you don't have the problems i found when i've used the batting ones they tend to shrink up a little bit too when you wash them so the foam it doesn't shrink at all and they come out as good as they went in okay so thank you so much for joining me today i do hope that you enjoyed making these cute little coasters don't forget to share it with, uh, with us over on instagram and uh, tag Devon Lee Design Studio. That way I can see all the makes from the channel. If you like this video today, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, share us across the socials, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it if you haven't already done so. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Happy sewing and see you all then. Bye.